Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from the smallman.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of pivot tables in a particular worksheet or a particular workbook. We'll go through both methodologies and we'll show you how easy it actually is. Now, let's have a look at this particular workbook. We've got data that we've pulled off the web and then we've created a couple of pivot tables and just to be sure, I've basically repeated the pivot tables on the second sheet. Now we'll concentrate on this sheet first. We'll get rid of these puppies and we'll say, well, that was simple. Now let's extend it out to get rid of these guys on this particular tab. All right, let's go into the back end and get this thing going. So it's Alt F11 to go into the back end and then we want to insert a new module. We'll give this guy a name MDL, we'll say remove, and we want to create a sub, and the sub needs to be, we don't need to create a name that's somewhat sort of relevant to what we're doing, so we'll just call it REM piv, pivots, yep, that'll do, so remove pivots, and the first thing that we want to do is we want to declare a variable, and the variable is going to be sort of short for a pivot table. So we will dim PT, short for pivot table, as a pivot table. There it is there. You have to write a fair bit before you get the pivot table, but that's all right. Now, now that we've got that, we can use and abuse the PT, the pivot table, in our looping construct. So we'll say for each PT in the active sheet.pivot tables, yeah? So it's for each PT in the active sheet dot pivot tables. Notice how I'm writing this all in lowercase. I'm writing in lo lowercase, oh, for a perfect reason. Look at that, because we want to look at the code after we've written it, and if that guy is not uppercase all the way through, it screams error. Let me just end the loop. So we'll say next PC, and then we'll go back and address this guy. So what have I done? I've misspelled it, active and sheet's got two, two E's. Now, that's a classic example of why you write in lowercase. Don't put the capitals in. Let Excel put those puppies in for you. It acts as a great tool. You write the line, hit enter, look to see that all the words become capitalized. Yeah, this just comes with time, practice, and making a lot of mistakes. Yeah, I have made an enormous amount of mistakes. Yeah, so that's the way I do it, and I find that it helps with my coding. Yeah, now when we've got that guy in there, what we've got to do is we've got to go and refer to the pivot table with our variable PT. So we'll say PT dot, and it gives us a range of options here. And we want to grab the table range. Now, look, when I press T, I get two options. Oh dear, which one do I choose? Now, table range one will exclude fields from your pivot table. You don't want that. So it's better practice to use this puppy here. Table range two includes the fields, yeah? So we, we're most of the way there. So it's table range dot two, oh, not comma, but dot, I've done it again, dot, and it's we want to clear the guy, yeah? Clear. Hey, peeps, that's it. That's our code, yeah? So basically that should remove all the pivot tables on an active sheet. Now, if you need it on a specific sheet, I'll come and deal with that afterwards, yeah? So let's have a look and see if that works. Has Marcus got his coding right? I'll just take you down a bit and move you across. And then this is this becomes the active sheet. So let's use F8 to our advantage and run through this puppy and see how it goes. So we'll press F8, we've kicked off, okay? There's no apparent errors, so we're all good in the hood. All right, we'll press F8 again. We're setting up the looping construct, F8. We should see one of these two go. I don't know which one's gonna go, but F8. Whoop, the one on the far left goes first. F8, and now the one on the right goes. We should, it will have identified that there was two pivot tables. We've been through both. It ends the construct. Giddy on up. Okay, all right, let's try that again, and let's try that so that's sheet specific. Okay, I don't want to get rid of the pivot tables I've created, so I'll go into the pivot table too, and let's bring these guys into this one again, yeah? So we'll bring them back in here, and then we'll go back into our uh, VB, VB editor. Now, 
if you wanted, if you're on a different sheet and you wanted to be like a wizard and say, "Hey, over there on that other sheet, can you remove the pivot tables for me?" It's like magic, isn't it? So um, let's have a look. So the, this is our list of sheet names. Pivot table, the the sheet title PIV is sheet worksheet code name three. Yeah. So rather than using the sheet name, use the worksheet code name, and we type sheet three. Yeah. And then that refers to the piv sheet. Okay, let's roll this guy. So I'll just move you out. That's perfect. And we'll roll it again. So we'll press F8, F8, F8. Here's where the rubber hits the road, peeps. F8, gone. F8, gone. Wooshka. All right, so that is how you remove a pivot table on a specific sheet. For the active sheet, for the specific sheet, be very cognizant of your worksheet code name. Yeah, The reason I use this, and I say this in just about all my videos, is the worksheet code name is very difficult to change if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, Someone almost has to sabotage your uh, workbook to come in and change it. You've got to come in through here and you've got to know where to do it. All right, okay. So that's one. Let me just go in here and we'll do what we did before. Copy, paste, and now we've got a cavalcade of these things. So... Right, we've got four between the two sheets, yeah? Four pivot tables, that is. So let's go in and extend this guy, yeah? So let's copy the entire piece of code and let's drop it down there, give it a new name, okay? Remove pivots too. Right, the construct of this guy is all good, yeah? So it works really, really nicely the way that it is. So it's got most of the elements that we need. I'll just maximize this screen. All right, let's go. Yes, big. Okay, so bit type two. So what we want to do to give us the flexibility to do more than just this specific sheet is we want to create a loop for this procedure. So basically, we'll have a loop within a loop. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to create a variable for each of the sheets in the workbook. So, or just a variable for sheets, yeah? That's probably more specific. So I wanna dim SH as a worksheet. Nice, okay, good stuff. Now, I'll come down here, I'll move this where it needs to be for sort of aesthetic purposes, and I'll create a loop that goes through my sheets. So it's for each SH in, oh, not in, <laughs> sheets, yeah? Now I'll end that loop down here, Next, SH. So now I know what loop is for what what um, what variable is for what loop. Yeah. So I've got them both um, described after the next statement. That's considered best practice. Get in the habit of it. All right. Good stuff. So now what we want to do is this bit's too rigid. Yeah. So all we do is replace that puppy there with that. SH. So when it loops, it just goes, okay, we're on this specific sheet. Let's get rid of all the pivot tables. Now, in this looping construct, the first sheet, the data tab, is included. Yeah? It doesn't matter. Yeah? Look, if you've got like 100 sheets you want to exclude, you might sort of, you know, push the code out so it does that. But in this case, it'll just go, well, there's no, there's no pivot tables in that sheet. It should come straight out of the loop, but we'll run it in real time. Let's give that a whirl. So I'll just make you a bit smaller. All right, good start. Oh, no, that hasn't worked. Okay, let's go. All right, that's better. Okay, so we're like the wizard in a room. We're basically telling it from a single point to go and do stuff, yeah? So you won't see the screen flicker around. It'll just go and do what it needs to do, okay? Now, with any luck, it'll be the data tab first. So we'll see. So let's kick the procedure off. So we'll press F8. Okay, there's no errors at this stage. So we'll press F8 again. We've started our looping construct. Now we're into our pivot table construct, yeah? Now, the next line, this, as you know, is where the rubber is hitting the road. Well, it's really smashing into the road. Now, you see, it went straight out of that loop because it was on the data tab, yeah? It didn't have any pivot tables. So we'll go to the next one, and this surely will, yeah? So we should actually see this happen before our eyes. So I'll press F8 now, and it's gone. And I'll press F8 again, second one, gone. Now, what we won't see is the pivot tables disappear in the second sheet, if that, in fact, is what happening. Now, I'll click over to the second sheet. You can see that they're there. I'll click back, and like a magician, we'll go back in with F. Alt F, Alt F11, and we'll press F8. Now that should have removed the first pivot table in P5. 
piv2 and this one will remove the second one. We finished the loop, we're out, we're done. Let's check. Hashtag kaboom, they are gone. Now my peeps, that is how you remove pivot tables in a single sheet and a workbook. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, it becomes almost second nature. Hope that's helped. Hope you've enjoyed it. You can pick up the raw file on my website. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. Take it easy, everyone.